So we are going to solve problem 3.31 from Sadiku book. So we are going to find not voltages. So this node V1, V2, and V3, the value of V1, V2, and V3 is what they ask to ask us to solve. And first we we put this ground here. I assume this one is our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And let's see what can we infer from this one. So this one, I see this node, it's 10 volt from the ground, so this node will have 10 volt here. And I can see voltage source here, voltage source here, the plus sign is here, and the minus sign is here. It means that the difference between this node and this node is this value. So I will have V2 minus v1 that will equal to 4 i0 but i0 itself we can calculate this using ohm law here so v3 min divided by 4 so v2 minus v1 is 4 times v3 divided by 4 and this will cancel and i can move that v1 to the right hand side so i will have v2 is equal to v1 plus v3 and i can make this substitute it to the that node so i can change this node into v1 plus v3 v1 plus v3 and let me erase this one And we can start by using KCL in this node. Why? Because there is a voltage source here and we don't know how to calculate the current. So I will assume that the, this current will be going there. And I will name it I21 because it is current that flows from node 2 to node 1. And this current obviously going to the left. And I assume this current is going down so i use kcl at v2 kcl at v2 what do we get here so kcl at v2 will be the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out current that goes in is this one to v0 and the other current is going out so i will have this current here this current is v1 plus v3 divided by 1 because divided by 1 I can erase this and this current plus I to 1 so and what can we do here this v0 is v1 minus v3 so i will have 2 v1 minus 2 v3 here and that will be equal to v1 plus v3 plus i to 1 we can rearrange this one into i to 1 is equal to v1 minus 3 v3 and this is the final equation that we can get from this node so we need to move on to next node and i will start here so i will use kcl at v1 what do we have at v1 so i this current will flows here and this one I assume will go in this and that current will go in there so the current that goes in is this one I to 1 don't use blue I need to use black I to 1 plus 1 this one and then will equal to V1 
divided by 4 plus this current so v1 minus v3 divided by 1 I don't need to write divided by 1 here and what can we get here uh, I can move this one to the right hand side so I to 1 is equal to V1 over 4 plus V1 minus V3 minus 1 and this one here is I to 1 here we can substitute using this one so I will have V1 minus 3 V3 is equal to this one is 5 over 4 V1 minus V3 minus 1 we can multiply both sides by 4 so we don't have the fraction part so we, I, I like to work with integers so we will have 4 V1 and then this one is minus 12 v3 and then it will equal to 5 v1 minus 4 v3 minus 4 and I can move this to the right hand side so I will have v1 5 minus 4 and this one is minus 4 plus 12 it's plus 8 v3 and that will equal to 4 let's save this as equation number 1 and we move on to this current here at v3 so I will use KCL and V3. So I will assume the current will go in there and this will continue here. This will continue there. And this one is I0. So the current that goes in is this one. So 10 minus V3. Well, I need to use black. 10 minus V3. 10 minus V3 divided by 2 plus this current here V1 minus V3 divided by 1 I don't need to write divided by 1 and will equal to the current that goes out V3 divided by 4 and this one plus 2 v0 and I can multiply both sides by 4 so I will have 20 minus 2 v3 plus 4 v1 minus 4 v3 is equal to v3 plus 8 v0 now what can we do here so 20 is equal to v1 only this one is v1 for v1 and that one is minus 7 v3 is equal to 8 v0 and what is v0 v0 is v1 minus v3 so i will have Eight V one minus eight V three and I will have what will we have here four V one minus eight plus seven is minus V three is equal to twenty. 
and let's save this equation as number question number two but don't save it yet let's do this instead so v3 is equal to for v1 minus 20 so we can substitute this one into equation number one and what can we get there so v1 plus a times this one for v1 minus 20 is equal to 4 and we'll have v1 plus 32 v1 minus 160 is equal to 4 and I will have 33 v1 is equal to 164 or v1 is what is v1 64 divided by 33 it is 4.97 volt so this is for v1 and for v3 we can substitute this value into this equations so we erase this one so v3 is equal to 4 times 4.97 minus 20 and what is v3 so i will have 4 times 4.97 minus 20 and that will be minus 0 0.124 so this is for v3 we have the value of v3 and finally for v2 v2 is equal to v1 plus v3 so we can just sum this one 4.97 with this one minus 0 0.12 and that v2 will be what value v2 will be 4.85 volt so this is our final answer and hopefully i don't make any mistake in our calculation thank you